Ron, will you back the eventual Republican nominee wholeheartedly, whoever it is? Uh, wholeheartedly, I, I uh, <laughs> would have to reassess that because, because you know, they're still talking about they're, they want more war than Obama. I think Obama wants may, way too much more. He's ready to go into Syria under the U.N. resolutions and flaunting the responsibility to tell Congress or ask Congress. No, I'd have a lot of trouble with that. I want people, and I think it may shift. I mean, the people are shifting, so the politics. Politicians are going to shift their views too. Now that the people want to come out, you know, by by uh, November, uh, and Obama is upstaging the Republicans because now he has once again become the peace candidate. You know, he's won the Nobel Prize. At the same time, he promotes war, so he's going to get away with something because right now the Republicans are going to be the war party. They're going to be the John McCain party, and this is the reason why Obama won uh, won before. Is usually a more sensible approach to dealing with other nations. And, and the the willingness to go to war is a major factor for the American people. Just think, World War One and World War Two came on after Wilson and Roosevelt said, "I'm going to keep you out of war." So people don't quite understand this. And I think the Republicans have fallen into the trap because now they're the war party and they they support you know the Patriot Act, invasion of our houses, uh, you know the TSA and all these things. That's what the young people and independents do not like, and I think they're setting the stage for a different difficult time in the fall. So um, uh, if, if the perceptions change and their attitudes change, you know, my mind about the other candidates might change. But right now, they're, they're in favor of way too much big government for me.